Ha, choking here. Good morning, folks. Uh, welcome aboard our uh, weekly options brief. Uh, man, what an incredible uh, 24 hours at the Buckley House, man. I told you. And, you know, Murphy's Law, I yesterday, I think, was one of my most historic trade briefs and a, a minute of a, and a half of it recorded. What happened yesterday? Oh, yeah, there was no sound or something like that. So I exited and came back in. And, so it's my fault. It wasn't good at webinar. When I came back in, I didn't re-hit record. So that's my fault. Um, but we'll, we'll get a little bit more of that rant since yesterday got worse. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. But hey, man, I got air in my lungs. I got you guys. I got a good cup of coffee. Uh, everybody's alive. Uh, thing life is good. Amazon still short SPX, and then I need to add. Sorry, if you logged in a little early and you got a free trade from me, we are long SPX. I haven't done that in a while, but we're I got a pivot mapped out here. Speaking of pivots, I'm going to brief you on a new service and all sorts of cool shit coming up. So let me men lie, numbers don't. So I'm going to add that new trade up there. I just put on an SPX bull put spread uh, for uh, today. Um. But first, let me brief this. So before, you know, we got five new uh, lifetime members uh, back in December, which is great. They, all of them have hit the ground literally running in the in the Max Afterburner self-direct investment squadron. So welcome aboard to all those guys. But there, there were folks who were like, hey, man, I can't swing that big of a chunk. And again, you guys know me. It ain't necessarily about the money. I'm not a charity. We have a charity, but I'm not a charity. But so let, let's break it up in the chunks. If you want to be a lifetime member, uh, I we we just came out with I finally got the work done behind the screens to do this. You can pay pay it off monthly, um, which is a good deal for folks. And remember, we're only going to do about uh, well f well he didn't do it yet. Uh, one guy's like I want to do this first five people to do this. We're only going to do this probably once a quarter, man. This um cuz I like I like the Max Afterburner group. It's tight. It's you can lurk. We got people who lurk in the background who email me once like, "Dude, I'm here, man. I just I'm a lurker." You have absolutely zero. Nowhere does it say you have to participate at all. Uh, originally what this was designed to do was, "Wiz, what are you doing in the COVID crash?" I'm like, "Well, shit." Well, and finally paying some attorneys a shitload of money they're like dude just start an investment club that's what everybody else is doing i'm like well duh and then jim kramer just started one a couple weeks ago which is pretty funny anyway so the fact that other people are smarter than me in here is fantastic right that's the way when i was at that trading firm in chicago that's that's what my mantra was was to hire myself out of a job my mission objective was to hire and find people a hell of a lot smarter than me and then it ended up making me look even better <laughs> so the people in the Max Afterburner, man, and we just added Bart yesterday. Uh, Bart is uh, going on the journey in a couple couple weeks. He's also a brilliant chartologist. I don't know if that's a word. I just made it up, but we're probably going to – we're launching a product here with Bart. He's already over in the Max Afterburner group mapping out swing levels. So for all the people who love that stuff, the guy sees it like the Matrix and that this with the double reverse doji swing chart, you know, inverse wedge, bearish teacup handle, and head and shoulders. He does all that. So you're going to get access to uh, stuff like that. Um, so uh, monthly, uh, usually it's a big chunk. If you want to do the big chunk, the big chunk's great. Get it out of the way. That's fine. This is for the folks who want to break it up uh, into uh, monthly payments. Um, so 12 monthly payments, uh, and you're going to get immediate access to everything. You become a lifetime member as soon as you make your first payment. Now, if you stop, you get thrown out of everything. So, I mean, that's just, that's a no brainer. You gotta, that's, I don't think that needs to be said, but maybe I do need to say it. If you stop your monthly payments, you don't get access to the stuff. Uh, so you get immediate access to everything. You immediately become a lifetime member. You get immediate access over to the Max Afterburner group. We have 144 uh, people in there. Doctors, attorneys, uh, fighter pilots, airline pilots, uh, fund managers, chart dudes, ladies, stay-at-home moms, stay-at-home dads, you name it, brilliant people. And again, better than any hedge fund I've ever been associated with or know of because they trade their own money. Remember, folks, if you're a rich dude, Stevie Cohen is a billionaire, right? He's got people that trade for him. They're trading his money. It's a lot easier to trade somebody else's money, isn't it? Because your give a shit meter is probably over here. When you're just trading your money, your give a shit meter is up on high. 
So these guys and gals are better than any professional trader I've ever met, period. So this year we're gonna be launching that new charting service with Bart. He's a former Tomcat guy. Definitely hold that against him. So <laughs> they'll let anybody, we'll let anybody uh, teach here. But uh, Bart's getting up to speed with options, right? So he sits here. He sent me some Baba shit. He, he timed the Netflix thing the other day. He sent it to Ponch and I perfectly. I'm sitting there. I'm like, let me swatch this to Boeing. I'm like, well, shit. So he's going to go through full throttle in a couple of weeks after we get back from our journey. And the dude's going to, so he's got to learn options but he's an expert at charting. So we got a Reese's peanut butter cup coming here. If you're not a lifetime member, it's gonna cost more money. It's a separate service, just like Solo Amazon isn't part of Full Throttle, Bart's Charts, or whatever the fuck we call it, is gonna be extra. Not for you, it's included with lifetime. And I'm also, I'm dancing around with some crypto shit in the background. I'm not gonna do it, but if you all want it, we're gonna probably have a crypto product uh, this year. I'm like Jamie Dimon. I think it's stupid. I don't get it. I don't care, but I'm going to charge money for it. That's exactly what Jamie Dimon said. He's like, I think it's a Ponzi scheme, but guess what? If JP Morgan can make money off of it, we're going to do it. I'm Jamie Dimon at Top Gun Options. So that will also be included in your lifetime membership. Um, so, um, <laughs> kid, you're classing the place up with all these Tomcat dudes. As long as Bart in every uh, webinar wears his flight suit with the polo shirt underneath it, right? Classic Tomcat guy from the 90s, right? Mid, early 90s, Tomcat guy, polo shirt, like Goose. <clears throat> Not our Goose, the Goose in the movie. So the $15,000 a week profit target is for me. And somebody just asked based on what account size. I'm going to show you my current account size. I have about $40,000 or $50,000 in Amazon right now which ain't looking too hot. So it's based, so the account size, so that's a great question. I don't have an immediate answer. I wanna make 15 grand a week. Now, if I have a grand in my account, it's gonna be very hard to do that. So whatever, we'll go look at my portfolio and I'll show you how much money is currently in it, live account, uh, but that's gonna be my goal, right? So right now, I think I have about 30, 40, $50,000 in Amazon. I wanna make 15 grand this week trading Amazon. I wanna make 15 grand next week. I averaged and it's outside. All my shit's outside. I did my debrief and I have all my papers. Folks, there were some weeks when I did about forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 just trading like Amazon in short calls or spreads or whatever. There were some weeks when I got kicked in the teeth. There, I don't think there was too many weeks where I was actually negative. I can't remember. The fact that I can't remember one doesn't mean it didn't happen. I'm just saying I... The positive weeks, and again, men lie, numbers don't. I can show you all this stuff. Um, we'll take a look. <laughs> We're all wearing Armani's with a flight suit over it. You got it. All right, so anyway, uh, and you can transfer. I'm the only dude out there with a lifetime membership where you can transfer to an immediate family member, right? Not your best friend. You give it to your spouse or your kids. Teach one of your kids how to do it. I know there are some senior folks here. Hell, there are some folks who join lifetime at 74, 75 years old that are trading right now. I can show you all those testimonials or case studies. Uh, I won't bore you with it, but they've already, they're like, Wiz, I'm, this is great. And I'll allow them to pass it on, man. This is just, it's putting the ladder down, folks. So anyway, uh, so that's uh, it. The um, And I'm gonna ask this. It's on the agreement, but listen to me. Sometime in the 12 months that you're you're paying off your lifetime membership, if you can donate 5,000 bucks, because it's about $5,000 to save a veteran, to, to send a veteran for treatment. It's 4,100 bucks for the treatment, 900 bucks for a hotel and airfare. Let's just round up and say five grand. Please donate. Once you make a profit, how about that? Oh, I put that in there. Only after a profit. If you don't make a profit in the next 12 months, I suck. <laughs> That's the, hopefully, you can make five grand in a week. No guarantees but hopefully we can do this in a week. But please, it's in the agreement, it says, hey, during the 12 months, uh, you make a donation to the Top Gun Fighter Foundation to save a vet. Um, I think that would be cool. I hate saying this, but hey man, you get a great tax write-off. Who the fuck cares? But you do. Um, but more importantly, you're potentially saving a life. So, Graham, I'm teaching my son and he loves it. Awesome, Graham. We'll, we'll take, the old fields are all welcome here. Uh, so it's only 1500 
uh, bucks uh, a month. Here it is right here. Fifteen hundred bucks a month. The the what's it call it? The hunters is four ninety seven. So and, and a couple of the hunters actually are the people who asked to do a monthly lifetime. So it's fifteen hundred bucks a month. And like I said, man, my mission objective is to make about fifteen grand a week on average, right? So uh, you know, this is for the folks who want to be lifetime members. And like I said, you get uh, the links in the chat box. Uh, you get immediate access to this. You get immediate access to these 144, 145. Oh, that's right. I added Bart yesterday. So Bart uh, joined and he is on board. And after he gets up to speed on options, he's going to uh, he's going to uh, hopefully teach. But he already jumped in throwing out some shit in here. So this is great, guys. Uh, the intel that I get in, and I'm lying on the couch at night, folks, getting intel from my mastermind group, other people, shit. I throw stuff. This group me is an app. And it's also so it's on my booger eating iPhone and it's also a web page. So wherever I am at the gym, I'm, I am always posting in here. So we have two threads. We have the max afterburner trades only. Why? Because we only had we had one thread initially and the trades were getting buried. We're all posted shit and Joe Rogan and, you know, and it got cluttered. So the people who kind of lurk in the background, they're like, dude, I can't follow all the commentary. Can we just have a trades only thread done? Trades only. So if you're a lurker, you can just pay attention to this. But this is where we uh, post all of our uh, commentary and stuff like that. Okay. Wiz, I like the SP. Yeah, we'll talk about the SPX trade. We're in weekly options, and uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Somebody asked about, hey, are you still have the bearish trade on? The bearish SPX trades out a month from now. That's my shit show hedge. This is a day trade. I just did a bull put spread this morning. Risking five grand to potentially make two. There you go. If you did this bull put spread today, you could potentially have paid for a month of your uh, 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 whatever. Bob, to recap the obvious, that is full throttle for life plus max afterburner. Uh, Bob, excellent re recap. When you become a lifetime member, solo Amazon, full throttle, Bart's charts, max afterburner, the hunters, and a crypto product if it comes this year. You get everything. Oh, that's what I, it's somewhere posted on those slides. But when I add everything up, it's about 23.5 for a year. If you did everything at Top Gun Options, it's about 23.5. You're actually 15 to, you're paying underneath that. So you are vested in everything Top Gun Options does. And you ready for this? Will ever do if we get a crypto product. I had a, a guy years ago, we were doing options on commodities. I was like a caveman looking at a wristwatch. I didn't fucking get it. And he kind of spun out. But there's all, I'm always looking to launch new stuff. So this year I told you, I'm going to, this is going to be the best year of my life. Helping with no fallen heroes. We're going to bring on new instructors, all sorts of shit. So I'm strongly recommending this Max Afterburner Monthly because it's going to go up. We're going to launch new shit. Uh, and you're going to have to pay extra for all that stuff. Right. It's at full throttle is full throttle, man. We got our eight sessions. We got our Monday through Thursday briefs. Anything outside of that is extra. Does this make sense? Yeah. So great. Good, good point, Goose. Goose actually has you can set up alerts like on this Max Afterburner trades only. You can set up, hey, man, ding or send me a text or whatever. Alert me anytime there's something posted in this uh, thread in the trades only one. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome, Goose. Good reminder. I don't have that set up, and I just need to do it. <laughs> Kinch, you still have bull put spread on Amazon January 7th? Kinch, absolutely. I think it will be above 33.50 by Friday, or I wouldn't be in it. So here you go. Topkinoptions.com slash max dash afterburner dash monthly. Again, a bunch of you folks asked for it. Hey, Wiz, I can't do the lifetime membership in one big chunk. I'm like, all right. Well, let's do this then. Again, this is for you guys. I'm putting the ladder down, trying to help you guys out. Bob, will any of that uh, to Top Gun, 1,500 times 12 to Top Gun Foundation tax deductible? No, 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 Bob. Let's clear everything up here. 1,500 bucks a month is going to Top Gun Options. That ain't tax deductible. I'm asking during, sometime during your 12 months, uh, that you make a donation. So the 1500 bucks a month is Top Gun Options, right? I'm just asking, when you make some profit, you donate 5000 of that to the Top Gun Fighter Foundation. This is kind of the, the chip 
that I'm asking you to put in the pot for doing it monthly. I wasn't going to do this. I prefer lifetime members paying the chunk and I never have to worry about it again. You're on board and everything like that. This monthly shit, it's more stuff on my end, all sorts of stuff. So no, no, no. The five grand sometime during the year when you make a profit goes to the foundation. That's a separate entity and approved 501c3 charity where you guys can sponsor a veteran uh, for treatment. Does that make sense? The 1500 bucks a month times 12 ain't tax deductible. I'm paying taxes on it. <laughs> Does that make, that make sense? Good. <laughs> Skip. Anyway, you cannot pay taxes at all. Taxes suck. I'm with you, brother. Yeah, the link's in the chat box. It's a great deal. Hey, thank you. Hey, uh, Richard, you did email me. You're one of the guys. So there you go. There's the link. All right, let's get going. Enough of that stuff. But I wanted to launch this this year to help folks out who want to, I want access to what you guys are doing over here. This is a fantastic club, really smart people in here. Hell, when I, when I, to, you know, uh, told these guys about what happened to Matthew and then let me tell you what happened to my mom yesterday, four people in here were like, dude, I got, or Hema or who was it? Uh, like, dude, I can get you ivermectin. I'm going to FedEx it to you. Boom. Um, yeah. Hemo. And then Ding's over here trying to help my uh, my son out to get in the Florida Air National Guard. I know people. This is a mafia. This is a great freaking group of, I was going to say Americans, but Graham's in here. There's an Australian. We got Canadians, a couple of Canadians. I think there's somebody, uh, a couple of Great Britons in here. So a group of great traders. How about that? All right. So here we go. Um, oh, thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. I haven't looked at the December stuff yet. That's awesome. Thank you. Charles, good point. Thank you, Charles. For So Charles just became a lifetime member. He's uh, outside of Philly. He talks like me, or I used to talk like Charles. Great guy to talk to on the phone. In his 70s, great American. I'm sure he's an Eagles fan. Uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Um, but Charles took a couple days. He's like, dude, I want a lifetime membership. Guess what he did? He reached out to, I gave him the, uh, the email for the lady, not the lady, the dude over at Traders uh, uh, Accounting. There's a firm called Traders Accounting where they will take you through to set up an LLC for you to trade through. So Charles just wrote in the chat box, if you set up an LLC, it could be tax deductible. You know what? We haven't done uh, a, a webinar with them in a while, but I can uh, I can uh, hook you guys up with that. So Charles, new lifetime member from December, did this on his own, and he's all set up. So. Listen to Charles there. Okay, so all right, let's get air. Uh, you're welcome. Like I said, man, I, I love this thing gets better. This group gets better and better by the day. The the intel that is posted in here, the trades that are posted in here, there are some. I, I follow some, this shit, dude. This is why it's a club, man. This is this is fantastic. All right. Um, all right. So I appreciate all the uh, the concern. So here's what happened yesterday. Two days ago, as you know, um, Sledge, good point. Definitely a business expense tax deduction for any training fees. Sledge is not an accountant. He doesn't play one on TV, but Sledge is potentially right. So, um, yeah, you know what? Let me, uh, Traders Accounting, let me see if they want to do a webinar. Traders Accounting. I used to do one like once a, every six months with those folks. And four or five people of you would go over and set up an LLC to trade through. So that's my fault. So Charles, thank you for kind of poking me a little bit. I will reach out to them. Maxwell, I'm at the FANG currently. I'm in the Florida Air National Guard. Let me know if he wants to visit and or apply. Maxwell, shoot me an email, man. Wiz, W-H-I-Z at TopkinOptions.com. I'm uh, one of my buddies, Boots, Jim Demarest. <clears throat> I think he's like the chief of staff, Brigadier General uh, Demarest. His retirement's coming up in February. I'm going to go up there to uh, – I'll, I'll meet him up in St. Augustine. Boots and I are, are good buddies. All right, real quick. Here's what happened at the Buckley House. Two days ago, Norwich University, the Corps of Cadets. Norwich University has completely fallen off the face of the planet, like the United States military. Um, did everybody get a chance to see my rant yesterday uh, on YouTube? Let me uh, share this with you. Um, so, uh, unbelievable day yesterday. So my mom, so anyway, Matthew can't go back to Norwich. You got to get vaccine. 
Matthew uh, had the Johnson & Johnson. Well, that's like outlawed now, or it sucks. They don't make it anymore because it was bad. Oh, that's fucking great. That's fantastic. So my son, like Susie and Matthew went to CVS or wherever, Walgreens are like, well, no, you don't, you know, this one's, the, the lady wasn't going to get, we're like, President Biden's saying you need the booster. Everybody's got to get this shit. And they, they like turned him away from one place for whatever reason. Susie's like frothing at the mouth in text to me. I'm like, oh my God. So he finally gets whatever booster. All Monday night, 104 degree fever, chills, shaking, vomiting. The poor kid didn't even have anything in him except Gatorade. And he just kept throwing up. I'm like, what the fuck? The kid is 21. Built like a brick shit house, captain or whatever of the Norwich club hockey team in the Corps of Cadets, wants to be a Marine, and he's, 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 he looks like he's dying to me. And you guys know as a parent, you just want to you wanna die yourself. So yesterday, still shitty, just lying. He was, up, he was in bed all day, all day. 21-year-old healthy kid who wants to be a Marine. So you guys know that my mom, stage four cancer, she beat it. And it came back. So me, Susie, the kids, we haven't seen my mom in yet. I've seen her. You guys know I flew up. The unclean, my one sister from Dune Capital, she saw me with her N95 mask on on the Upper East Side. Her husband and her two kids didn't want to see me. I, they were in the garage as she left to go visit his uh, uh, Kyle's potential college. And I was with my mom that week at their place. Um. We were going to fly up in between Christmas and my birthday to see my mom. My mom's like, I haven't seen the kids in years because of this fucking COVID. Well, I kind of got it from my brother and my other sisters that, you know, um, you might kill mom. What? I was with her a week. Nothing happened. Well, you know, my mom hangs out with my one sister, Marilyn. Clark, my brother-in-law, Clark James O'Donohue, nice Irish, got COVID. So I'm dealing with Matthew after our webinar yesterday, trying to take care of my boy. My mom calls. I have COVID. My fully vaccinated and boosted mom got fucking COVID from my fully boosted and vaccinated brother-in-law. Can somebody explain that to me? Somebody help me out with where the fuck I'm lost. Did you see Mumbles in Chief yesterday? This continues to be a pandemic of the unvaccinated. He's a fucking liar. He's That's a lie. What happens if a guy like me lies on social media? You're gone. If you get vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Lie. If you get vaccinated, you can't spread it. Lie. If you get vaccinated, you can also you won't get it. I forgot about that one. Lie. All of these are lies. Nothing happens to the people who lie. The people, Dr. Malone, Dr. McCullough, the people who question or maybe tell what they believe is the truth are gone, deleted. I'm lost, guys, with this fucking country. Thank God a federal judge out in California, the Navy SEALs, got a little bit of a victory. The United States Navy, the United States Marine Corps, zero religious exemptions. Not one, not five, not 27, not 100. Zero. A federal judge said the fact that the Department of Defense hasn't allowed one, not one, religious exemptions, his words, proves this is theater. They're destroying the healthiest, youngest people in the United States military. They're throwing them out. You will be left with a bunch of Obama, Biden generals and admirals and cucks and shitty people in the military. I do not want my son to go in the Marine Corps. I can't forbid it. That's not me, he has to live his life. I do not want my son going in the Navy. 
this is not a country I would raise my right hand to defend today. I don't give a shit about the people in Portland or Seattle that want to defund the police, who want illegal immigrants all over the place, who don't enforce the Constitution. I have nothing in common with those people. Nothing. Not a thing. Do you think I want my son getting blown up overseas to defend people like that? I can't wait for tomorrow, January 6th. You can't, I can't even wait to see how the media, at the one year anniversary of the insurrection and the overthrow of the government. We saw an insurrection last year. We saw it live. It happened in 48 hours. Armed forces moved into a capital and overthrew the government. Except it was under Joe Biden and, is, and, and it was in Kabul. You want to see what an insurrection looks like? Don't fucking push me. I've had it. I'm furious at this. So I didn't see, you know what? Thank you, God. God works in mysterious ways. Thank you, God, that I didn't visit my mom over Christmas because my fucking brother and sisters would be like, you're, you've killed mom. Now, I shouldn't have said that. She's, I'm calling her like every other hour. She's like, Matthew, I'm fine. I just kind of, she's got fucking stage four cancer. And now she's got COVID. And she got it from a fucking vaccinated person. Somebody explained to me this theater. I, I I don't, maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm an idiot. Somebody help me out with this, whatever is going on, because I'm lost. I'm furious at this. My son, my mom, Christ almighty. I, I've had it. I've had it. <gasps> Unbelievable. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on at the Buckley uh, residence and in my family. I haven't. Um, yeah, exactly. Keep the fear going for the for the midterm. Christina, she, my sister Kia sent like a fifty page text to everybody last night. I'm try. I'm, I want to. Uh, uh, I want to. I was talking to um, Hemo, uh, who's going to hook me up with some ivermectin. I'm like, maybe let's just FedEx to that to that to my mom in New York. Um, and all the treatment that like sane people are using, but I, I think my sister might like intercept it. Let me just read. In case you guys are smarter than me, or many of you are clearly. Let's let me. Here's the COVID update. Very long story short, mom will be getting the Pfizer pills COVID treatment recently approved, starting either late tonight or tomorrow morning. Meds will be delivered to our apartment. It's called. Paxlovid. Earlier today, they were pursuing the infusion monoclonal antibodies, but there is very little left anywhere, and mom's on the waiting list unless her symptoms get worse. Oh, that I don't even understand that, but that sounds bad. She at least can even she at least can even get on the list because of her cancer. Originally, Dr. Shu didn't pick Pfizer because it has some side effects, but Dr. Shu also didn't realize how long the waiting list was. Oh, that's great. Also, Dr. Maxfield called Dr. Shu, and he convinced her Pfizer is the better choice anyway. The side effects Shu was concerned about are related to drug interactions, and mom doesn't take those anyway. But they did have to lower her Eliquis dosage. It's a five-day regime of two different meds, six pills a day. Her oxygen and pulse are great, and that's what we're supposed to watch. And if she starts to feel very sick, we'll take her to Columbia, an unlikely Unlikely right now because she feels pretty good. That's the update now for mom. Mom's in quarantine in the back room. So if she starts to feel very sick, we're going to take her to a place where everybody's got fucking COVID. I, I, I just, I can't. I can't. Lori, I really hope it's not. If this is the new normal, guys, the, we've lost it. This country, my, my getter handle is right here. Um, if this, this is America, folks, this is America. Believe the science. What about all these scientists that are not believing that science? Delete, delete, ban. Believe the science. When you can't question science, it becomes religion. These branch COVIDians uh, are destroying the country. To see the CDC and the face diapers, it's, it's theater, folks. I, it's breaking my heart to see the end. Folks, you guys know me. I'm a student of history and military history and republics. Republics, most republics average 250 years. Guess where we are? We're right there. 
We are right at the 250-year point. You know when most republics reach their peak and really implode? Military failures abroad is a big end of the republic. It does not get any worse than Joe Biden and what happened in Afghanistan. I can't even, I can't. As a military man, it doesn't get any worse. That picture of that coward general getting on the last C-130, he wanted that picture for his, you know, I was the last American to leave. No, you weren't. You were the last fucking soldier to leave with thousands of Americans left behind. Enjoy your picture, general. I would have been like, this fucking plane ain't leaving. You're ordered to leave. Uh, Court martial me, President Biden, Secretary of Defense, or woke Millie. The number one threat to our national security is COVID and extremism. Not China, not Afghanistan, not Russia, not North Korea, not Iran. It's a cold. Our quadruple vaccinated and boosted Lloyd Austin got COVID, our Secretary of Defense. So if that's the new normal, man, I'm done. I care about you. I care about my family and I care about the veterans lives I'm going to be saving. I don't give a shit about anything else outside of the state of Florida and Texas. These Democrats lock down their states and their cities and then they fly to Miami to party. It's insane. It is like the Soviet Union. We order everything and then the elites go vacation wherever they vacation in Russia type of shit. This is this is what's going on. Ron DeSantis cracks me up. He's like, if I had a dollar for every Democrat governor, mayor, senator, congressman that forces these vaccine bullshit on their constituents and then comes down to Florida. So anyway. Arthur, I'm 79 and tested positive for COVID on Monday. Hey, man, my symptoms are GI mostly, same chest stiffness. Hopefully it was. It will pass. Awesome, Arthur. Feel better, man. Folks, there's a ton of comments in here. I'm sorry I went on that rant, but uh, and I'll scroll up. I'll, I'll read this when I leave, all of these, because they mean a lot to me. But this is just we've, – we've lost it as a country. The same people who froth and yell – here, this is a great we're, – we're five days into 2022, and here's the headline of the year. It's already over with, folks. Obese YouTuber criticizes Joe Rogan's health choices. This isn't the onion. This is for real. <laughs> Resident YouTube blowhard Ethan Klein took aim at, at uh, Joe Rogan. These are, the, these are the people, folks, the Branch Covidians. The same people who order you to wear a face diaper and inject something into your arm Go to the McDonald's drive through and get their double quarter pounder with cheese. It was never about health. If it was about health, they'd be like, you need to do hot yoga in the morning. You need to meditate. You need to eat better. Here's some vitamins we recommend you take. And then you should do a workout in the afternoon, either walk or whatever. That's what I do. I take all my vitamins. I do yoga in the morning. I work out in the afternoon. I eat like shit sometimes. But it's never it was never about your health folks the fucking chicago teachers union what a disgraceful organization never about the children only about the union now it's going to be great to see democrats rip themselves apart lori lightfoot beetlejuice and joe biden are like oh shit we saw new jersey we saw virginia parents are pissed first of all teaching the kids at home they got to listen and eavesdrop into the Marxist bullshit and critical race theory we're forcing down their throats, and that pissed them off. And they were also pissed off that their kids are at home instead of at school interacting with friends. Democrats know they will be destroyed. That's why Jim Cramer, that's why Joe Biden, that's why Pisaki, all of them are going, no, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to shut down schools again. Chicago just did. You, Democrat leaders, the chickens are coming home to roost. Chicago Teachers Union backs remote learning. Oh, did you see this Chicago Teachers Union leader? We haven't seen any data that it's unsafe to be at school. Too late, leader. You've been saying it for years. Now that you realize Democrats are going to get destroyed at the ballot box, 
your members are revolting even against their leadership, aren't they? So grab your tub of popcorn and sit here and watch Democrats implode upon themselves. Chuck Schumer yesterday, we're bringing it to a vote. We want to end the filibuster. I sat here yesterday and watched a montage of five minutes. Joe Biden, Barack Hussein Obama, Harry Reid, Chuck Schumer frothing at the mouth. How dare Republicans even consider this? You'll destroy the Senate. There is no king in America. All of them for five minutes. It was a great montage rant about the filibuster and how it is needed for democracy. Yesterday, every one of those fucking hypocrites said the exact opposite. We need to do away with it. This country, this republic is over with. So military failure marks the end of a republic. You know what also marks the end of a republic? Unlimited printing of money, spending to excess. Every empire I have ever studied had those two things, massive military failures on the world stage and you're broke and you just keep printing even though you're broke and you don't get your house in order, it implodes. I laugh because I know Putin and Xi are sitting here on a conference call on a Zoom going, dude, are you doing this? No, dude, they're doing it to themselves. I got their fucking NBA players kissing, literally kissing my ass and their business leaders. You see Jamie Dimon? I said this yesterday. I'll say it again. There will come a day. I don't know when it will come when American businesses will be forced to choose. Up until now, they've kind of made their choice. Apple, FBI, Tim Cook, open this iPhone. This dude's killing people with an AK-47 right now. We need to know where the other terrorists are and all his other plans. No, privacy, finger up their nose. What? No, we care about the privacy of our Apple customers, except in fucking China, who ordered you to put all the shit on the phone so we can track people. And if we don't like what they're looking at on their phone, they go to a prison camp. So I'm sorry. American businesses have already chosen and they've chosen the enemy. But there will come a literal day when Taiwan gets invaded or China moves on it. And Joe Biden goes, well, there are sanctions because clearly we can't do anything militarily. Um, What's going to happen? What's going to happen when Joe Biden or Kamala, if he makes it, he doesn't make it, we get into an economic war with China and China says, choose. We already know during the trade war what China said, don't we? Apple, <laughs> if you don't tell Trump to knock it off, you're gone. I showed you articles in China where people were hiding their iPhones in public because they were anti-state. There was a time when iPhones were essentially like, if that's the enemy. So folks, if this is almost like a 2022 brief, I'm keeping an eye on SPX. I'm ranting, but I'm also keeping an eye. Uh, in case you didn't get it, well, uh, I, if you logged in early, you saw it. I have an SPX bull put spread right here. That, as SPX pulls back a little bit, if you wanted to get into now, I would get into it. Let me cover this real quick. Let me go tactical and get back to ranting. Um, I did a bull put spread for today. This is a day trade. This is January 5th for SPX. I haven't done a couple of these trades in a while, but I'm sick of looking at Amazon on my screen, so I'm doing a little SPX. And it ain't no foray because I used to trade the shit out of SPX, and maybe I'll start again. I sold 15 of today's 47.75 uh, puts. That's me saying by the closing bell today, SPX will be above 47.75. Okay. Whiz, but if you're wrong, we get a middle of the day implosion shit show. Well, that'll suck, but I'm buying the 47.70 puts underneath it. Okay. So I'm bullish on SPX. At least it's going to hover the rest of the day and maybe even go up. I mean, let's go take a look at the bigger picture here. Um, this looks exactly like what? What we're going through right now already happened. Double implosion, rip your face off rally, pull back, a little bounce level, implosion. You ready, folks? <laughs> implosion, bounce, 
implosion, rip your face off, rally, little pill back, hover, 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 smash. This, ladies and gentlemen, is happening right here. It's exactly the same thing. History doesn't repeat itself. It is. The shit show might be delayed a little bit, but it's going to happen, and it's in February. So somebody asked, hey, man, I see your SPX bullish spread. It's for today. Do you still have the bearish February on? Not only, yeah, I might add to it. I might add a Russell bear put spread. Folks, it's coming, man. Right now, we're seeing a rotation out of tech into um, uh, financials for financial earnings, and then we should see a little bit of a rotation back into tech. We should. Doesn't mean we shall. So this, ladies and gentlemen, the Russell, the IWM, will be back down here at 210. I guarantee it in February. It's going to happen. So that's what's going on with that's a bull put spread that I put on. I got filled at a dollar forty. The spread's currently at what dollar or ninety five? Uh, you could. Yeah, that's a good looking trade. Uh, this trade's currently up. Again, if you logged in early, you got this as a bonus. It's up eight hundred bucks right now. Uh, and but yeah, so because somebody's like, I missed that. I didn't send it out via text and email. Shameless plug for uh, the lifetime membership. It immediately got posted in here. We already kind of have a weekly trade on. I sent it out yesterday, which was the Amazon calls. I bought the 3,400 calls because I think, and can be completely wrong, that Amazon, it's Amazon swing, baby. This is what Amazon do. Stop. So I bought five, like $6,000 worth of Amazon 3,400 calls. All we need, it's doing these convulsions here. All we need is convulsion between now and Friday for those calls to start looking good. But anyway, so no, I didn't send that out uh, as a weekly options trade because it's a me trade. It's a uh, over in the lifetime group. So if eh, Amazon's trying to come back to life, I might, well, kind of hanging out here it's not doing anything i might sell some 30 you know what though no i'm not I, i'm feeling and again you know i, I flew almost three thousand hours in the hornet you feel things after doing 30 years of trading you feel things i think we're setting up for a little bit of a run here if we don't i am going to sell some upside calls here for example i could sell 10 of friday's Sell 10. Sell 10 of Fridays, 33.75s. I, I want I don't want it, but this would be kind of a I trade in and out of these, right? So if I sold 10 of Fridays 33.75 calls right now, I'd bring in 11 grand. I don't want it to be below 33.75 by Friday. I want it above 3400 But this is how, this is what I do over in the Max Afterburner and the Hunters group. I trade in and out of these. This is how I do those 15, 20, 30 grand weeks. Oh, so somebody asked me. What what account size is that based on? I'm talking. I want to make 15 grand a week in Amazon profit, and I have about 37 grand in Amazon right now. That's my mission objective. With about 37 grand worth of that, my my total portfolio right now is only about 53 grand. Right now, cash wise, there's a, I love this. I'm a, I'm about half in cash. This is cash. This is a real, this is my, one of my brokerage accounts. So 104, 105 grand total. I have about half deployed, which is exactly where I want to be. With a shit show potentially coming on the horizon, I like being in about half cash right now. Still in, and one of the ins is what? A bear put spread out to February. So one of the ins is my ejection seat, right? So I kind of like where I am. If we get a, if Amazon wakes up to do an earnings run, I'm in. If we get a shit show, I got a bear put spread on right here, this bear put spread reminder can make what? I'm risking five to potentially make 20. If we get a pullback in the SPX, I'm for five grand, I'm potentially making 20. Deal. I am, what's the dollar bill from Billions? Oh, did you see Billions is coming out? I don't like, what's his name? Mike? Yeah, whatever the guy's name is. I'll probably still watch it to see because I was an Axe fan, but we'll see what's going on. Anyway, um, I am not uncertain. 
that word that's going to that that trade's going to Mike Prince. I am not uncertain that this guy um, that that is going to hit max profit, man. I feel a shit show coming. Yep. Uh, let's let me finish my brief uh, and then I'll tell you about that. So that's a good point. Uh, where are we? Markets jingle, but not all the way to a Santa rally. We really didn't get it. This is not Amazon certainly didn't. Remember, folks, this is a pyramid market right now. There are a few participants at the top that are doing really well. Most of the underlying breadth of this market is awful. The, the guts of this market are rotten, period. Uh, da, 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 da. So somebody just posted it, and they know my brief uh, ahead. Stocks waiver ahead of what? Oh, the Fed minutes. Now, a couple things to remember with Fed minutes. They already happened. Let's be present. However, comma, because we saw a press conference, man. So we're getting the written stuff from what we allegedly heard. The only way these could, these shouldn't be a shock. If these are a shock, the Fed's, could, Jerome's lost it. He knows what's in the minutes. If, if something's going to be shocking in these minutes and the market implodes or explodes, they failed. They're supposed to be telegraphing everything, right? And not even that. The last time the guy spoke, he's like, you're going to know everything. I'm not, we're not hiding shit. So a couple, couple ideas. If you want to stay in this spread, this bull put spread through the Fed minutes, it's up to you. You're the pilot in command. I don't think anything should be shocking because remember, whenever anything comes out with the Fed, what do we see? Like, oh, there's the immediate announcement or that and then this and now, whoa, and then something happens like that. So this is algos and all sorts of crap going on, right? So I don't know what's going to be in the Fed minutes, but if they're shocking, I would be shocked. So if you like, um, if you like 600 bucks right now, close it or get a little bit more theta. And then close it at 130 or 150 before the Fed minutes come out at two. If you think there's a potential shit show coming because of the Fed minutes, <clears throat> then get out of that of this day trade. <clears throat> Fed officials said in that meeting they would speed up the taper, duh, and then three interest. So this is. If the, this this here's the cliff notes, we're doubling the taper. We heard him say that, and we got to crank up interest rates. We heard that too. So I'm probably going to stay in this bull put spread. Every second that I'm talking to you right now, we're getting theta on that spread, right? When you sell something, when you sell a spread, every second that goes by, you get theta. When you buy a spread, theta sucks. When you pull out of that parking lot in your brand new Ferrari, it immediately depreciates, right? That's why I'm not digging these Amazon 3,400 calls from yesterday because they're depreciating. That's why I might sell. If I sold, still sitting here channeling, I might sell 10. No, I'm not might. I'm going to do this. I'm going to sell 10. Let me get in the right account. 1760. I'm going to sell 10, sell 10. Of Fridays, 33. Let me put Amazon up over here. Why am I pausing? Because I was thinking about doing the 50s because it's kind of lethargic. Amazon's just sitting here. If I sold 10 of Fridays, 33, 50s, I bring in 18 grand. There's your lifetime membership in a potential trade. And I showed you on how much capital that is. Now, holding this to Friday is stupid because I think Amazon better be above 3,500. Uh, that's why I'm not going to do this, but I'm just pointing out. So 33.75, I would trade in and out of this today. If Amazon goes, gets on a horse and climbs, I got to get out of it. But the 3,400 long calls will be making money. If Amazon starts fading again, like it seems to do every day, this, these short calls will make money. But we're in a, we're in a holding pattern. You know what? Let me go back to the chart over here. Take a look at something. 
I mean, so we we busted. We there's a bottom. There's a bottom. That that thirty three twenty five. We busted through it today. Now we're you know support support resistance or support ish. So we're either going to rip higher today uh, or we're going to implode. So you know what? That's a coin flip. I don't flip coins, so I'm not going to do any short calls for now. I'm just going to – I like my SPX pull put spread for now, and it's just sitting here. What do I have? 40, 47.75 down here. Yeah, I might. I mean I, I love – like I said, if I can average 15 grand a week trading in and out of Amazon and not looking at anything else in the market, I'm probably going to do that. But like today, here's a perfect opportunity. Right here is the market imploded after the open and bounced, double bounced here. I'm like, yeah, I like that. I'm putting on a bull put spread. So I take all sorts of shots of opportunity. Okay. So, all right, a couple more things. Uh, so we, we've had yesterday and Monday a little bit of a tech wreck. Why? We got we saw a surge in yields. Huh? Remember when these when the T, what is it, above 1.5 or 1.6? The tech ends up getting dis destroyed. There's a pair of trade for you. Um, for a while, it appeared that stocks and especially gigatechs were willing to ignore the plunge fest in treasuries and were widening the rave of new capital. Wow, 125 billion, according to Goldman, allocated to stocks of all stripes to start the new year. However, it wasn't meant to last, and with yields surging, uh, uh, suffering their biggest two-day surge since uh, the chaos in March of 2020. That look at that big pop, right? Uh, high duration names, which just happen to be the market's all important generals. Gamma, folks, Google, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, Apple. Did I say Amazon? Amazon and Apple are the A's. Just happen to be the generals are finally sliding, which in market are finally sliding, which in a market with little breath as this one is a very big problem. As Goldman warned a few weeks ago, a crack in the largest market leaders, the gammas, the fagums, could result in major pain. Right? Oh, I forgot Tesla in there. Uh, at, you know, boot Netflix when it was whatever, when, when N used to be in one of these and replace it with Tesla. But again, guys, for 2022, if I'm wrong and Joe Biden's sophomore year is just the best year in our republic's history, <laughs> ah, sorry, um, a lot of people are looking at this down here. Now, do you want to get into these names, these absolute high flyers, or do you want one that pr literally prints money and is an underperformer? Now, obviously, if we get a shit show and a Joe Biden sophomore year implosion, all of this chart is going down. Nothing will be safe. Money has to flow somewhere, and obviously – Fund managers don't get paid to sit in cash. They get paid money to deploy the capital. It will go into these names, but still, when the implosion happens, all the kids in the basement eating Cheetos on the Robinhood app will be bailing. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you the link to this. There's a lot of booger eating in here. I need to, we need to stay on timeline. Yeah. Read this one because it explains a little bit of the tech wreck and also why it's not right now. It's coming, but I don't feel it right now. This article does a good job of mapping out exactly currently where we are. Elon, recession this year. Thanks for agreeing with Topkin Options, Elon. I, I knew I knew you were on board for the big win. Smart man. Do, 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 do. We talked about this yesterday with Amazon uh, being in Barron's as the most attractive gamma name, right? It's the big underperformer, but it's set or, you know, I, I you got to, if you trade Amazon, if you invest in Amazon, the past year sucked. If you trade Amazon, it was the best year, one of the best years of your life. But remember what Amazon does. Good climb schedule level, insane climb schedule level. Implosion, it can happen, it won't. Folks, every article in Intel that I've read is what? Out of everybody, Amazon has used this supply chain issue to do what? Destroy everybody else. Buy their own ships. Do all sorts of crazy sh there in In a storm like this, with Pete Buttigieg on baby leave, in a storm like this, if you can trim your sails up to do good when it's shitty weather, you're going to cruise when the weather is nice. 
Uh, Eli, now it depends. Well, uh, why do you ask? We want to we want to limit it to five. To be honest with you, I don't want a shit ton of lifetime members. I, I and I want to kind of make sure everybody's a fit. Not to be rude, but my dad used to quote what's his name all the time. I would never want to be a member of a club that would have me as a member. Okay. I mean, you remember that one dude last year actually threw out a Top Gun Options who promptly went and wrote like a shitty review on Trustpilot? Remember that dude, Nestor? In the chat, just every day, he yelled and screamed and was yelling at me, and he, he was awful. Dude was awful. I threw him out, and he charged back. I'm like, did you not see the terms and conditions that says if you're a dick, I can throw you out? <laughs> and he lost his chargeback with his credit card company because I sent him all the shit that said, Here, here's how much of an ass this guy was. <laughs> so, James, I have no idea. James said, when do you think Hood will recover? I have no idea, man. Hood, let me repeat what I said constantly about Robin Hood. Robin Hood is either a takeover name uh, or it becomes its own Death Star, folks. I I'm telling you, man, that looks – that's an awful chart. If you are a long-term investor – and so, folks – there's one of three things that are going to happen. It becomes its own trading behemoth, Fidelity, E-Trade, Ameritrade, whatever. It becomes its own Death Star or it gets acquired. The third thing that can happen with Robinhood already happened, and it was the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. In February of last year, we're almost coming up on the one year. There goes Amazon, what they tell you. It, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the February shit show. The GameStop, AMC, the meme rebellion, where hedge funds literally were getting destroyed by mom and pop. Retail traders were destroying the so called who? Professional traders. I have two huge lots on Fisher Island in Miami. Uh, your hedge fund just blew up. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Most of my investors lost their money, but I still get paid. Hedge fund manager. What a great gig. Lost a shitload of money. Lost all your money, but my wife and I still live on Fisher Island because Ken Griffin and Stevie Cohen bailed my firm out. Here's why I'm ranting about Robin Hood. Folks. The kids, my kids, they're not on Robin Hood, they're on E-Trade. Um, uh, this is – so it, it can go out of business. I mean the stock's shitty right now, but I don't think it will. I've been in the room where we were talking about being a huge payment for order flow provider. Um. Let's just say that somebody I know might have worked at a really big firm in Chicago. And let's say that somebody I know, he's a really good dude, great looking guy, just a great American, um, build a retail brokerage firm. Why? To help retail traders. Yeah, that's great, but you also got paid for the order flow and you also got to see what everybody was trading. Wow. Yeah. And then you built a financial media company that talked about options and people had to go trade those ideas somewhere. Ecosystem. I, I I used to be in touch with that dude. I don't know who he is anymore. I actually don't know who that guy is anymore. That's funny that I said that. So folks, very long answer to your short question, James. It's either going to get bought, it's going to be its own Death Star, and that's it. I might actually throw some Robin Hood calls on out into the future. Uh, that actually is, it is in the bottom right, bottom right of my bullish board. <laughs> Eric, man, what does that sound just like you? What are the odds they were two of you? I think there were two of me. There was somebody in the past and then there's today was. You're welcome, James. I know that this, if you're in Robinhood right now, that sucks. But to use an analogy, well, if you liked it at 20, you have to love it at 16. If you think it's going out of business, get out. I don't think it's going out of business. If it was going to go out of business, it already happened, dude. They got – they – if you were at Robinhood, folks, your brokerage firm got a margin call. 
<laughs> right? Their clearing firm called Robinhood and said, hey, Vlad, you need $3 billion right now. All these people with this GameStop, you're going to blow up. You, you, we need this cash tomorrow. And Vlad's like, um, okay, uh, Ken? Yeah, it's Vlad. Can I have a couple billion dollars? Okay, great, thanks. Hey, Stevie Cohen? Yeah, it's Vlad. I need a couple billion dollars. And guess what happened? Robin Hood met their margin call. Folks, when I, when the guy I know helped build Options House, when we went, you know, through contingency planning, that was the worst case scenario for any brokerage firm would be what? Holy shit, man. What if we're about to blow up? We actually contingency plan. Like, well, you would have to pick up the phone and call people. So I'm rambling now, but James, let me just, that's, that's, that's the behind the screen, man. This is one of the benefits you get from Top Gun Options is because I've been there. I know exactly what's going on. I was at ground zero. I did all this shit. So if, if you believe any of that, I'd be bullish on Robin Hood. Not a bullish looking chart, but that's exactly when you walk in. Uh, or I guess there's a fourth case scenario. I could be completely wrong with the other three, and it does just go out of business. Nobody rescues them. But folks, you have no idea, no idea how uh, greedy these people are. Like they – or those people will go somewhere. I have no idea. I don't follow Robinhood that much. I don't know how many daily active users or I, – I don't know the metrics of that company. But there's people trading there. People trading makes – People that I know froth at the mouth like that's money. Every time they log into their account, cha-ching, cha-ching. Remember back in the old days, churn. Wiz, this is a great trade idea. Wait, I just got into this one yesterday. <laughs> that set was yesterday, man. Get into this one today. Okay, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. That order flow is so valuable, guys. You have no idea. All right. Uh, flight suit and Armani, exactly. All right, guys. Sorry, I went over by three minutes. Uh, what's SPX doing? Hanging. Uh, the spread is currently up. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. So. I just paid for 800 bucks. Literally, I just paid for half of your monthly lifetime membership. If you want to join us, and so I'll go look at who joined. I didn't, uh, I haven't, still have to figure out how to get alerts on this phone. I'm a booger eater, but not fully. Uh, oh, good. There's a bunch of people in here. So once you become, uh, there's at least two, three. Somebody's asking a question. At, I want to try and limit this to five. Uh, once you join, I'll well, I'll email you and you give me your cell phone number because I'll send you the link. As soon as you join, I'll send you the link to join the Max Afterburner group. It's an app on your phone or the login. So all the people uh, who are going to join the monthly program, uh, make sure you give me your cell. Or you know what? I can go on our customer thing and see your cell phone. Never mind. Duh. I'm on it. I got it. Chris, I was in the hood synthetic stock, made money on the short put early and bought back. Oh, yeah, good. And then bought the long put for money. Been doubling down on the long call out to 2024. Good. I like Chris. Very well done. Get get a discussion going on this in the ready room if you want on hood. I'd love to see this. All right, guys, I'm going to get going, but I'm going to sit here for a couple minutes because during that rant at the beginning, there was about 100 comments posted. And I don't like leaving until I looked at everything. So I'm going to go silent. Uh, let's call it a day. Uh, but if I close the room, I won't get to read these comments. So there's the link to join uh, the Lifetime Monthly. You guys asked for it. I did it. So remember, uh, you know, with all the products coming up this year, you're going to have to pay extra for that. This, this, this is a great deal doing it monthly. Okay. Uh, keep an eye on your bull put spread on SPX. If, if you don't want to hold it through the Fed minutes, go on, take the money and run. Nobody's gone broke taking a profit, folks, so close it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'm, I'm going to hang in it. I don't think anything should be shocking in there, okay? So 
Good stuff. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll pass it to Matthew and my mom. I think I heard Matthew up earlier. He's at least vertical today. I mean, how, a 21 year old healthy kid he, who's in better shape than I was ever in my entire life is down for two and a half days after getting the vaccine. Somebody tell me that's a lie. Somebody tell me my kid vomiting and his fever and everything like that. It was just out of the blue and coincidental to the fucking vaccine. There are no adverse effects. None reported. Okay. The same people who froth at the mouth to believe the science can't tell me how many genders there are or when life begins. If you can't tell me how many genders there are or when life begins, you can shove your science up your ass. I've had it. Science that can't be questioned is religion. And the, the evil that men have done in the name of religion since men have been on this planet with women is you could fill a book, a couple books. I've had it. So I care about you. I care about my family. And that's about it. And veterans. I'm going to try and save veteran lives, especially with the veterans that are now getting destroyed by the military and the country that they swore to serve. That's it. Have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge and God bless you guys. Namaste. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, weekly debrief. Cheers.